Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Welcome to another video of writing with AI series in which I'm bringing AI apps, AI tools which can be useful for your academic writing. I have discussed about this particular platform named as answerthis.io and a lot of you have loved it. Uh, you were having a lot of queries regarding it. So I thought of covering few more interesting uh, like features of this particular platform. So I have discussed already about basic AI writing of this particular platform and how, how you can use that to generate new ideas to write up your proposals or write down your articles. But today what I'm going to talk about is library feature, like how you can use the feature of library on this particular platform, how you can upload your documents, how you can use that to chat with PDF, how you can get uh, concise information from a particular PDF. So let's get started. So if you come up to this particular page, this is once you log in. Okay, so you have to log in using your Gmail or you can uh, create your own account on this platform. I will give you link to reach out to this particular platform and uh, that's all you have to do. Once you will come, this is how the uh, interface is going to look like pretty clean interface. If you go to this particular place on the side, if you click here, you get a new query. Then you have AI writer. We have talked about AI writer. Let's talk about library now. So once you click on library, here are all your research papers which you have done or which you have searched in the previous researches. I, I mean, previous searches, if you have generated some uh, search query or if you have submitted some search query, all the uh, like all the citations, all the papers which it has searched for you are going to be saved over here. Okay, but here is a place where you can. Okay, let us get it back. So here is a place where you can also create your own library and you can save your own paper so that if you're working on a project, you can utilize them. So let's go to this place here. You can see there is an option of create library here. I'll click on that and I have to give a project title. So let me uh, write it down as my research papers okay i'm just writing it down like that it's up to you whatever uh, you can write down up based upon the project on which you are working upon you have to select your domain since uh, my work is mostly like bio and chemistry so let's choose chemistry here and let's create okay now here is where you can drop your pdf files pretty simple to do that or you can click and browse your files and upload them so i'll quickly upload few of my research papers on this so just two minutes, I'll be back once I'll upload them. So if you click here, you can just drag and drop. It's as easy as that. Okay, so it's not difficult to upload your research papers. Let me quickly do that and let I'll show you how you can chat with your PDBs then. Now here I have uploaded some of my research papers. And if you see uh, like there is an option which comes up as soon as you upload your documents that is chat with selected. Okay, now it can be any other document. It can be any other PDF file which uh, might be the research paper on which you want to work or something related to your project under which you are working. So you can upload any PDF over here. Okay. Now let's say that I want to uh, talk about this particular research paper. So I will click on this and there will be option of chat with selected. So if I click on chat with selected, a new pop up will come up where one side I'll be having my whole research paper, which is the document over here. The whole PDF is over here. You can the uh, like single page or you can see all the pages over here one by one okay it's up to you how you want to see that uh, and here you can chat with it okay chat with it means you can uh, ask questions related to that and ai will try to answer you over here so this paper was basically my work based upon protein crystallization in weak electric field so i'll just talk about few things that uh, what are the uh, techniques that are referred to in in the research paper okay and i will say okay so it will think for some time and then it will spit out the things related to it not only that uh, it makes your paper reading easier actually so if you have to read a pdf and you want to go through it so instead of going through the entire pdf file or entire research paper you can simply just ask some questions related to that and it will give you a lot of information for example if you want to talk about the what are the key points discussed in the result and discussion section or what were the experimental sections which techniques were used what was the conclusion of it what were limitation of it you can ask like it's up to you you can ask any question as you talk with any uh, like AI model in the same way you have to just ask question and it will take some time to generate it and it will give it to you.
Now, since I have given a very broad thing to think about or to talk about, that's why it has given a lot of information based upon that. Basically, it has explained each and everything that what are the things I have discussed in different sections. For example, in the introduction section, what were the things which we have discussed about? Uh, then what are the things discussed in the application of weak field? Like what are the things we have talked about? And it has given a very detailed explanation of that. Okay. And everywhere it has cited basically the same paper. So don't worry about that. Now the things get more interesting when you are dealing with more papers or more data. So I'm going to show you how you can use like three research papers or how you can have discussion with three research papers. So for example, uh, let's say that I have like I'm going to uh, like I'm working on a project which has to deal with these three research papers. So I'll upload them on my library and now I can select all the three and I can chat with them. Okay, I can ask questions related to that and this is going to give me information based which is which is based on all the three research papers. So I am going to do it for three but this is possible for like there is no limit for that okay you can do it for 10 20 30 whatever number of research papers you have you can select all of them and have a chat of uh, with them let me just quickly give a like prompt related to that so let's say i say that what are the key points that are common in these three research papers um mention them in bullets bullets and in short so it will take some time to spit up the information but it is going to basically analyze all the three research papers and then we'll wait for some time and then see how it comes up so here it comes up with the information about the query which i have asked so it has analyzed all the three papers and it has given or summarized everything in a single point you can say like in points it has also given much detailed information about each and every point if that is important for you you can go for that but even by reading these like subheadings and headings you will get a lot of information for example uh, what has been discussed in the introduction of protein crystallization using electric field so first thing which is common or which has been discussed is the importance of electric field then what are the challenges in the protein crystallization without electric field that has been discussed then there is a overview of stark effect and dipole interaction that has been discussed then uh, the second thing is regarding mechanical unfolding so what has been discussed about that so electric field induced dipole orientation mechanical unfolding um, comparison of electric field induced unfolding and single molecule fluorescence uh, force spectroscopy so these things have been discussed so it has made your entire reading of three articles easier here i have just given with three you can try it with like multiple of them tens of twenties of pdf files and you can read them and utilize them all right so that's it from my side for this particular video i wanted to share this interesting feature with all of you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section below there are more interesting features of this particular platform i'll be talking about them in upcoming videos and uh, you can reach out and you can start using this platform from the link given in the description this video it's entirely free to try if you want to go for a pro plan that is also available at a very minimal cost the team at answerthis.io were kind enough to collaborate with us to provide a discount code of about 10 which is going to give you a 10 percent discount on this particular pro plan if you want to upgrade so first i would recommend you to go and try this particular platform see how useful it is and if you think that there are features which are like you are using them and you want to use the professional features go for the pro plan then all right so that's it from my side for this particular video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care